Hey, hello, this is Bern. And if you've been trying hard to make a man want you, and your self-esteem is going down the drain, and you're not enjoying the process, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to stop doing that and what to do instead. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to another edition of BernMendez.com, a space where I share with conscious and ambitious women how you can attract the man you want and enter into the relationship you've been craving without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques. Now, there's a lot of advice going out and about in terms of how you can show up in a way that makes a man want you. And you can't make a man want you, that's the first thing. But beyond that, you probably know that if you're watching this video. The next thing I wanna share with you, which is really important, if you get this concept, I think you'll be far better off in your life going forward is I want you to apply a mathematical concept to men. Here's what I mean. Any number multiplied by zero equals what? Zero. So one times zero, zero. 10 times zero, zero. 100 times zero, zero. A million times zero, still zero. Here's the challenge I find in humans. If you're a woman who likes a man and the guy happens to have the qualities you want, then you think through virtue of him having more qualities or showing up with more chemistry with you, then he gets a pass. And the pass he gets is a pass for not wanting you or a pass for playing hot and cold or a pass for being mildly interested but not fully interested. You think, well, whatever he lacks in desire and interest and commitment, he makes up in awesomeness. Well. Let me tell you, <laughs> when you want to apply this mathematical concept to your dating life, that means that a guy who is, imagine this guy, a guy is tall and dark. He is uh, just intelligent, emotionally and IQ out of the roof. Um, he's someone who is sensitive, but also very masculine. He is a guy who is so strong, I mean, physically, but also has the capacity to move people. He's a leader of people. He has, uh, he's an actor, a Hollywood actor. He makes a lot of money, but he's also a philanthropist. Like imagine this guy, right, building him up. Well, let me tell you something. If that guy is a million and the multiplication of zero is if he does not want you, if he's not interested in pursuing you, any type of guy you multiply times zero equals not worth it to you. So the best guy who's not interested in pursuing you equals zero to you, it's worthless. So that's the first concept. Second concept that I want you to use instead of trying to force or trying to make a guy want you is end the ridiculous myth of the one and only. <laughs> so what does that mean? That there's one specific soul among billions of soul that is the perfect cosmic emotional, spiritual match for you that you're meant to connect with in this lifetime. And he's the only one you could connect with that could create that level of explosive passion and love. That's bullshit. What I believe is that there's going to be multiple human beings who could be potential ones for you. And you're going to select one who is a right fit for you. A guy who is not just awesome in qualities, but has the fundamental quality needed to make this work, which is him being interested in you and having the coglioni <laughs> to pursue you and to do, uh, and to just date you in a way where you feel happy and worthy, okay? That's the third thing I want you to do. So I, I want you to complete the picture. Many women I have connected with when I, because I've been helping women for so many years who reach out for help, when they first reach out and they talk to me about a guy that they're focusing on, they focus on part one of the equation, which means when I see him, my heart enlarges and my uh, libido goes up and my just, I'm so happy and connected and I feel seen and I feel heard. Okay, so that's part one of the equation. Part two is how do you feel when you're not with him? And again, I'm not talking about the codependent feeling of I miss this person, I can't live without them. That's your own shirt to deal with. But when you're not with this person and he's not calling you, he's not pursuing you. He's not interested in taking things forward. He spends more time with other human beings than with you. How do you feel about him then? Because here's the thing, if you add the first part of the equation with the second part of the equation, many, many times the result is negative. But you're only focusing on how you feel when you're with him, not when he's not showing up 
the way he needs to to create movement, momentum, and pursuit, and connection, <laughs> and ultimately, uh, not just friendship, but commitment, okay? So you need to focus on what your feelings are when he's not doing the things that would make this possible. Number four, I'd love for you instead of wanting to force or trick a guy or do something to make him want you, to create more options. That means that your lifestyle may have to change. I connect with a lot of women and say, well, I never meet any guy, so when I meet the one guy, I mean, it's once every three years, then he's my only option. Well, all that means is that you have a lifestyle that is not conducive to creating opportunities with men, which means you're gonna have to put yourself out there more. You're gonna have to expand beyond your circle of known friends. You're going to have to do online dating. You're gonna have to go outside and connect with people and meetups. You're going to have to, if you live in a small town, drive an hour to the next biggest town where there's more opportunities instead of saying, well, I guess, guess guys around here aren't uh, cool options for me. So you have to get more uncomfortable, but when you get uncomfortable and create more options, you don't feel the need to make that one guy do anything for you. Number five, if you want to create a fulfilling relationship and you want to do it from a foundation of understanding and love, then I want you to show yourself the love you want to experience in a man. And here's what this weird concept <laughs> means. It means that the way you show up with men, the stuff you accept from men, the self-worth you feel when you are in front of someone is going to dictate the kind of partner you have. So for example, if you do things to yourself that are unloving, like connect with a guy who doesn't want to be with you, or want a relationship with someone when a guy doesn't want commitment, and you try left and right and up and down and it's not working, you are in essence being very unloving to yourself. So the kind of love that you will get when you're unloving to yourself is typically a mirror to the way you show up. So if you show up and stop creating a painful relationship with guys, guys who don't want you, even if they have all the qualities, you stop connecting with them, then you're showing yourself that there's dignity, there's self-worth, there's trust, there's faith, and there's the capacity to create something new from scratch every day of your life if you have to. Number six, I've talked a lot about not forcing yourself into guys and not wanting to uh, not wanting to have them want you, not making them want you because that's not possible. What you can do is you can inspire a man to want to be with you. And not just one guy, necessarily the guy is not showing up, but just show up in a way where you are more attractive. And the thing to do, the thing to be, if you want that, is to be the light. What does being the light mean? It means connecting to your source of fulfillment, happiness, meaning, passion, aliveness, and letting it show through your body, through your smile, through your walk, through your words, through your kindness, through your boundaries. Being the light is the source of magnetism that will allow you to develop more options as you go on about, to not feel like you have to make a guy want you if he's not showing up, and to connect with men who have more substance and qualities that are fundamentally sustainable versus just chemistry. Hope this is helpful, insightful to you in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. If you want to understand how to step into the relationship you want and you've not been able to do that, um, there's a free training that I created for you. You go to the first link on the description of your video, click on that link, enter name and email, and you'll be immediately redirected to this free training. If you like this video, please click like or thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel so you can be notified if you hit the little bell of new episodes. And last but not least, if you're hearing my words and they're resonating with you, and even though you understand it intellectually, you know it's far harder to put it into practice in the real world where it counts. If you've been attempting to find love and you catch yourself again and again, maybe sabotaging yourself in ways, then there's a chance you can get some help in, instead of doing this on your own. And if you want to see if we're fit to work together, if I can help you, hold you by the hand, second link on the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.